welcome back uh, to another session. Today we are going to uh, talk about the critical thinking for NGLEX. A client came to the emergency room with dizziness, nausea and headache that started after having some pimento cheese fries and beer at the local restaurant. The triage nurse noted that the client had been taking prescribed selegilin. Which of the following assessment is a priority? Now here we are looking at a priority. What is the number one thing you should be checking if you have this client? Number one, respiratory rate and oxygen saturation. Number two, blood pressure and pulse rate. Number three, potassium level and urine output. And number four, cardiac enzyme and ECG. What do you think? Right? Let's do this together. Let's look at what is going on right here. Wow, this is the pimento cheese fries. Look delicious, right? Okay, let's come back to it later. Here we go. This is the information we have. So we have a client who is coming to the emergency room. Why? Because he had dizziness and there was um, a nausea and there was headache. So these were the two, three problems. That's Nausea, headache and dizziness. What could be the reason for that? I mean, we don't know the reason for that. We are just having the patient. And we have some additional information. There are some clues in the question. And what is the clue? The client was eating pimento cheese, fries and beer. Okay. Then we are thinking, is it some GI problem? Because maybe he was... His stomach got upset because of that. Is that why he is having that? Okay, that's something we can think about. Is it some GI issues, right? What else is there? What else is the clue in the question? And it's about selicillin. The client is taking selicillin. Now I'm thinking, what could happen if a client who is on selicillin is eating some pimento cheese, fries and beer? What is the connection there? Connecting the dots there, critical thinking there. What can connect these two with this, right? Now, in order to answer that, we need to remember what selegilin is. Again, if you look at the pharmacology flashcards, you will see a very important note about selegilin. It is M-A-O-I. It's a monoamine oxidase inhibitor, which is an antidepressant. Okay, it comes under antidepressant. It's antidepressant. Okay, if it is an antidepressant, what do we know about a MAOI kind of medication? They should avoid tyramine rich food. That's one thing we specifically learned there in the, in the flashcards too, it's there. Avoid tyramine rich food. Now, does that come under tyramine rich food? And the answer is yes. Pimento cheese uses eight cheese. So that is eight cheese and fermented food, which is beer is fermented. So that is tyramine rich food. Now, what is the problem if there is tyramine rich food? The tyramine is an anti-amino acid, it's an amino acid, so it, it's okay if we have it in a, in a regular person, we get it from the food, I mean it is there in avocados, it is there in fish and, and pepperoni and salami and, and beer and wine and all the fermented things have tyramine and, and we get it, but our body can use that amino acid and, and it's okay. But what is the problem when someone is already on this medicine, MAOI, and is using tyramine? Well, the MAOI is going to increase the tyramine level. And on top of that, if you take more of that from outside, that's going to be dangerously high levels of tyramine, which is going to act on our adrenal glands. That's what tyramine do. They go into the adrenal glands. You know, that's two small triangular shaped glands about the kidney, yeah, they go there and they stimulate to produce catecholamines, like your epinephrine and norepinephrine, things like that. And why does epinephrine do? Why do we give epi when patient is crashing? In the emergency crash card, we are like, give epi, give epi. Why do we do that? Because we want the blood pressure to go up. 
So what is going to happen if we have a lot of stimulation in our adrenal glands and is producing that catecholamines? What is going to happen to the blood pressure? It is going to go up. So salicylin and MAOI, and on top of that, if somebody is eating a lot of tyramine rich food, what are you worried about? Hypertensive crisis. The patient's blood pressure is going to go up. Okay, now, can this be a sign of hypertensive crisis? Big question. Answer is, of course, that could be the sign of hypertension. So it's not probably GI issue. It is probably hypertension issue. Now, are we getting the connection there now? I can connect the signs and symptoms to the reason and the clue. And that is a problem. So what do I want to check? If I can check only one thing, what should I check now in this patient? Is it respiration and saturation? Or is it blood pressure and heart rate? Or is it urine output and potassium level? Or is it ECG and cardiac enzyme? The answer is this, because I am worried about hypertensive crisis, right? So the checking, which I am going to do first, the priority, is going to be the blood pressure and the heart rate. All right, I'm hoping that that really helped you to make those connections with critical thinking because that is what you need to pass the exam. Not memorization, but understanding the content and applying it in the right way. Learn from the right people, right? Here we go. So just for your notes, some of the monoamine oxidase inhibitors, the antidepressant, hypertensive crisis with thiamine rich food and these are the most common food items you will see so especially pay attention to them right all right i hope that was helpful so see you later take care and god bless you